Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome to Prop Circles 2. This is going to be a tutorial on how to set up your pan or tilt servo in iNav 8.1. Uh, I believe it works with other iNavs. It's pretty much the same. You're going to set it up the same way. Uh, some of the older software might be a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same way. And you'll, you'll, you'll get it once I start explaining to you how you set it up. Uh, first thing is first you're going to have to find out on your transmitter what channel you want to use for your servo. It's either one of your pots um, or a switch or anything like that. And you're going to have to figure out on your transmitter in the mixer what channel you're going to use for that. Um, I'm not going to get into explaining that. You can probably do a little research on uh, YouTube and they'll explain how to set up uh, a switch in your mixer for your transmitter. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to connect to the plane. And so I have the Radio Master Pocket and I have mine set up on the S1 switch, um, which is the one on the top right bottom. It's the roller. It's the uh, potentiometer. Um, I had to eliminate the momentary switch, which is on the left. That was on my channel 9. Um, and then I ended up putting S1 on my channel 9 and my mixer on my transmitter. So like I said, your radio, you're going to have to figure out what switches work what and put it in your mixer and your radio. That's the first thing you should really do is do that. So then what we're going to do is after we set up our transmitter, we're going to go to our receiver and make sure that what we set up in the mixer and the radio that's working on the receiver. So like I said, my channel 9 is right there and it shows you that it is working. So, okay, so we know channel 9 is what we're using for our tilt or pan servo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our mixer settings. And we're going to go down here. As you can see, we have... S3, S4, S5, and S6 used for our servos for our plane that are plugged her into our flight controller. And you can see that they're da all down here. So what we need to do is we need to add a servo to here. So what do we do? I'm lost. What do we do? No, I'm only kidding. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new mixer rule. So we're going to click that. And then what we're going to do is, like I said, is what channel we're using for to operate the pan or tilt servo so we're going to select this the drop down and we're going to look minus rc channel 9 yours might be a different number yours could be 7 or or 8 or 6 i, I put mine on channel 9 so i know on my radio channel 9 in my mixer is what i'm using for my pan servo so once you have selected that, now remember what servo you plugged into the flight controller. So mine is on 9, S9. So you want to select 9 for your servo. And that's pretty much it. Then over here on speed, on the same line before we hit save and reboot, this is the speed of the servo. I usually go at 30 because it gives you that nice smooth left and right pan really slow, not mad fast. You can even go down to 20, which will even be slower. Or you can even do 50. If you leave it at zero, it's going to be 100%. It's going to be really fast. You're going to look left and right really fast. Kind of want it like kind of smooth, like cinematic. So I set mine at 30. So once you're all said and done and you set that, you're going to hit save and reboot. Okay, so once we are saved and reboot, we can still see it's still there. It didn't go anywhere. Um, and now we have our servo. So now we're going to go to outputs. And now, as you can see, as we only had four before, now we have a new one, servo, that's nine that we added. Okay. 
So that's going to be servo 9 that I added, which is right down here, the name. And what you're going to do is whatever switch you put it on, you're going to, you're going to try it now. So as you can see, my 9, see how slow it's going? That's full all the way left, full all the way right. And that's just showing that it is working correctly. My switches and my servo output is working correctly. Now, if you wanted to center this servo, um, I center my servo with a servo, a servo tester, and I center my servos. Um, you can do the same thing, or you can just use uh, in here, and once you power up your plane, that servo that you have connected will go center. If you have these numbers set correctly, 1,500, 1,000, and 2,000, it will go center. Um, as you can see, I have mine reversed, which I... When I pull my dial to the right, it's going right. Push my dial to the left, it's going left. So you can you can change that too, the direction which way it's going. And then also you can do your max if you don't want your servo. Like if you have a, a, a 180 servo that goes 180 left and right, you can turn that down by your max uh, throw. And also your, your mid, you can also change that your mid range. Uh, your minimum would be 1,000. And then your max would be 2,000. And then your rate, you can only go to 120. You can't go any higher than that. Once you have that all done and set up, you can hit save. And guess what? We're done. That's how you set it up. And if you wanted to set up another servo for your tilt, you would just go add a new mixer rule. Say we'll go to channel 8. And then whatever channel that one's going to be on, which just say it's on 8. And then you just, same thing, your speed of your servo up and down, you can change it. And that's pretty much it. And if you accidentally add one, you just hit delete and it's gone. And if you didn't save it, you don't even have to worry about it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how to set it up. If you have any questions or anything, just drop them down below. And I appreciate everybody uh, watching and liking my videos. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested in any Atom RC planes, I have a $10 coupon down there with my affiliated link. Click that and it brings you right to the page. And you get $10 off of your purchases. Thank you very much, guys. And take care and have a good day.